really was an unprecedented move and one that divided the faculty. Engineering students at the University of Manitoba voted earlier this month to raise their own tuition fees. The vote was a close one. Now, both the yes and no sides in that bitter dispute are putting aside their differences, joining forces to pressure the Dewar government to increase its funding. As Global's Mir Bahadising tells us, they had their rally caps on today. From getting water to a faucet, to flying in a plane. It all started with the design work of an engineer. Their latest creation, this giant 35-foot red lion. It's a tool these engineering students are using to rally the government for more money. It worked back in 1979, and Steve Woodrow is hoping for the same success today. The fifth-year student says the engineering profession is a huge driver to the economy. Management of hydro project construction, R&D and technology, and the government needs to support uh, you know, these, the future leaders in Manitoba. Just three weeks ago, students voted in favor of the self-imposed tuition hike, a referendum that pitted students against each other. Now they're coming together, demanding the province do their part. This isn't the first time university students are taking their voices to the legislature. But what's unique about this fight is that industry professionals are here too to support them. Us gray hairs are retiring, and uh, these are these people are a lot more capable than we are. So you need them. The opposition backs the student effort. Your lab equipment is deteriorating. But the Minister of Advanced Education says it's not up to them to fund individual faculties. If we were making d uh, budget decisions about this much going to engineering, this much going to medicine, this much going to law, it would pit faculty against faculty. Um, it, there would be utter chaos. The upcoming budget is promising a 5% increase to universities, but nothing specifically for engineering students, leaving them waiting for a life preserver that may not be coming. For Global News, this is Mira Bahadusim reporting.